Hey guys, Chris here, and this is a review on the Regis Campana cigar, or Campana cigar. This is the Selection Orchant, or the Orchant Selection, 2015. Also says London on there, because why not throw in London? So, have a look at this cigar, or that's what you would be doing if the focus worked well. You can see it's got the typical Regis brand that we've seen previously on the Corona. Looks pretty much the same, just a larger size. But for the Orchard Selection, we've got the, as you see, London Selection Orchard 2015. Sort of a golden band with some black on there. It looks okay. This is um, torpedoed, of course. And I was recommended this scar. I've actually seen it before. It's something I was um, putting off, but I thought I might as well get it since someone wants to see it. It's £10, so cigar to money it looks like it's going to be okay I mean that's uh, that's pretty decent I guess as for the tasting notes it seems to be you know between light and medium which is generally the range I hit for the ring gauge 52 I would say it's probably 48 50 at max but 52 I guess it is and it's five and a half inches long including the torpedo so let's see what it's like The wrapper itself, um, many of these scars tend not to come with a very flavorful smelling wrapper, I guess. It doesn't appear to be that rich, it just seems kind of uh, bland. It's just sort of like a, a very pale tobacco taste, there's no special aroma to it, I guess. Torpedo tip, we're going to use the guillotine cutter. I don't really have any good guillotine cutters, they're actually sharp. So uh, I'm going to have to use the guillotine on this double cutter. And about here. That's about right. This seems to be a very loose draw. So uh, this small amount managed to get a decent amount of air through it. So yeah. Pretty much what you expected from Regis. It's a little bit different than the Corona. I would say a tad different. I've had one of those every so often, so pretty fair on the flavours. As for this, it seems to be a little bit on the lighter side. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's a little bit on the lighter earth there, I guess. I never like guillotine cuts too much. I much prefer V cuts or punch cuts. You end up with less debris. Plenty of airflow, but I'm not getting too much taste or not. Sort of a light sweet earthy. Apparently there's some nuttiness in there, but I can't taste that initially. So I guess it's about time to light this. <clears throat> I'm also not going to forget to start the stopwatch. Although I almost did. Start. As per usual, just hold it, rotate it, make sure the main face of it is starting to get lit. You can see it there, it's starting to light up quite a bit. Uh, what I like to do personally is aim a little bit down the edge. And sort of work my way around the edge, spinning it around. And you end up with maybe like a millimetre or two deep already peel it and then a bit more work on the center just blown out a bit remove as many of those red spots as you can a few puffs and then aim at it a few good puffs again that's it lit pretty much um, that's the perfect way I like to light it with blowtorch lighters although I do prefer other lighters Recently, the easiest way is gel lighters, but yeah, you know, I like matches even if it's a massive scar, so use a match if I wanted to. I'm getting tobacco in my mouth. Um, I'm almost getting. Yeah, that's a very nutty flavour. That's um, what I'd describe as the standard nutty flavour, if there ever was one.
very light. When I say there's spice in this, I mean flavour, like a very good, um, sort of like a flavourful spice, not like the spice you would associate as like um, a very deep tasting cigar, a very strong cigar, no it's uh, very light, very nutty, and it's got a pleasant spice to it. Air draws very loose. Probably my fault, but uh, around the tip, a little bit of ripped tobacco. There's like some unraveling in my mouth. Lots and lots of draw on this. <clears throat> Compared to the Regis Corona, it's a decent size more. Definitely a lot more draw. Definitely a bit of a lighter taste, definitely not even close to as spicy as that one is as a whole. We'll have to see how this one gets to the middle to end, but... Yeah, relatively pleasant, sweet, earthy, nutty taste. Nothing too special about this, it does seem kind of bland. That little bit of spice probably adds quite a bit to it. Before we uh, smoke this any further, let me just get out a Regis Corona. And side by side, you can see they are pretty much the same height. But this one's definitely um, a bit, um, what's it called, the higher ring gauge by quite a bit actually. This one's been in my humidor for quite a while. It seems to be a bit lighter on the wrapper used. A little bit lighter anyway. As I say, band is exactly the same, just scaled up a little bit. And since it's the origin selection, it's got the gold band. This is burning pretty pleasantly. That's um definitely... Uh, Definitely very light. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that so far. It's pretty pleasant. So I'll see you all in the next section of this video. So um, we're back with this cigar, and this uh, you can still see the burn is kind of like skewed in this direction a little bit. That is after topping up. It did go quite off quite a bit, and I fixed it up a little bit, but it's not really burning too straight. Not great, but not much of a problem. The ash looks like it's holding on pretty well, but it's a little bit crinkly. Aside from that, a flavour change. Something tastes a little bit hotter, but that, that's really about it. A little bit tighter on the draw. That bit of wrapper I was concerned about isn't a concern anymore. Feels um we are 16 minutes into the scar by the way. It feels a little bit. A little bit on the heavier earth. Maybe that spice is just a little bit of heavy earth, who knows? But it does feel a little bit heavier on the earth. Still quite a strong nutty taste though. I would still rate this as pretty light in the light category. Just so you know, when I film these segments, I take quite a lot of puffs quite quickly. Mainly just to um, tell you the flavour as I get it. But when I'm not recording, I tend to just take a puff every now and then a lot less frequently. You know, enjoying a scar as you should. So um, don't worry about that. As for the actual scar, it's still very firm. I mean, the wrapper on this is very well constructed. I didn't really mark on it too much. But... It's kind of like a light, kind of stronger wrapper. In the way of veins, not really much. I mean, it's definitely a good quality wrapper for what it is. It's just the um, the burn is in question. It doesn't seem too bad though. I 
I have a feeling when this ash falls off, things might actually start picking up a little bit. I believe I'll get back to you when we start removing the band. Sorry, I keep burping in the middle of all my videos. It's the coke that doesn't. Yeah, so generally pretty pleasant. Same as before, except stronger nutty. A little bit heavier on the earth. It's picking up a little bit. Which has for an extremely light cigar, heading for light to medium, that seems to be about right. So um, yeah, I'm starting to think it's a pretty good cigar so far. I'll see you in the next section. So um, the ash on this has gone pretty exceptional. We are half an hour in and I don't want to take the labels off because that's probably going to disturb the ash, but it has to be done. We don't want to end up smoking paper and plastic labels. I think this is made of card actually. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Flatten off a tiny bit. Helps with the burn. Uh, so these uh, bands come off pretty easy. Little twist, loosened it. And we should be able to slip this up off. I prefer to keep these intact as much as I could. Just because I think they'll be better because uh, they have a tendency to, if you try and peel them off, they have a tendency to rip and there's actually just a layer of paper still around so you end up ripping the label in half. But that label wasn't actually attached anyway. Don't think they use much glue on that. Luckily it didn't hit my keyboard. My ashtray is right here. And that just slides right off. I kind of like uh, these kind of labels. As I said, when the ash is, um, when I don't expect it to hold the ash anymore, I always keep this right in front of me and always hold the scar, maybe like here, 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 you know. So, yeah. I almost forgot I was doing the video there. I um, thought I was just streaming. But yeah, where are we taste point on this? So that's a um, pretty nice ash, I guess. Holding together well, as expected. Definitely a lot more breathability now the ash is gone. I think the um, moisture from smoking is definitely causing the tobacco to swell a little bit. So this torpedo was probably a little bit small of the cup. So uh, what I like to do is just you know put a little bit of put my fingernail in there a bit, splits up the tobacco with just that tiny bit that helps quite a bit. Plenty coming off that. Now this reminds me of the start of a Regis Corona. I think this is maybe the three stages of Regis Corona. I believe it goes from light medium to heavy maybe this one's extra light to light to medium who knows but we're pretty much central 33 minutes in and it's kind of hard to stop myself from burping pepsi cola cherry that is taste on this is what you'd expect light like to medium to taste like it's really uh, on the earthy side. You can still taste the strong nutty taste in there, but it's sort of getting masked by the heavier earth. Uh, this is one of those plain tobaccos where you can describe it by the very basic terms of spice, earth, and nuttiness, and maybe peat. Those are probably the four terms you would use to describe more basic tobacco tasting cigars, nothing with any special flavors in them. This is one of the cigars that definitely falls into that category. Strong nuttiness. It does taste like you're getting a little bit of um, tobacco juice I would probably say you know um 
where a lot of the tobacco gets into the moisture. And, you know, when you swallow, it just tastes like you've just swallowed some tobacco. Yeah, definitely just starting this coming out of the nose. Overall, that's pretty good. It's actually getting to, you know, a pretty pleasant mix of everything. Some nuttiness, decent amount of spicy, I guess, earth in there. Not too much, though. It's still, you know, add the flavorful amount. I think that's very good. The draw is still pretty loose. The smoke's still pretty cool, maybe cool to medium. I'm liking this so far, and it's been 35 minutes. We're probably about halfway through. It's looking pretty good. So I'll see you in the next section again. So uh, that's just pretty much exactly an hour in. And this is still the same ash since last time. We had the big ash at the start that dropped off. We're still in this next ash. This thing's holding its ashes very well. That's something I tend to like about scars, but to be honest, this is begging to me off. Like, I just, something about this just makes me not want to keep this on, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to tap that one off. So yeah, we've already established the ashes in the scar very good. Probably a little bit more of a cut would help next time. Don't think this would swell up this much. Although personally, I'm quite a wet smoker, so. The general taste, definitely getting a little bit. A little bit on the mellow spicy side. Um, with a lot of scars, especially Cubans, when you tend to get to the end, it tends to go straight spice country. Like, seriously spicy. But this one has faded to that spice, but it seems to be quite calm. It's not, it's not overpowering. It's a nice, strong tasting spice. Sort of in the spice along the roof of the mouth, definitely right on the palate. Uh, one of the also key flavors I don't usually mention much is a uh, woody. Although uh, with these being in a humidor, especially a cheap fresh one. One that, uh, you know, you open the door, you just get a giant blast of a cedar smell. I tend to ignore the woody flavors a little bit, just because that tends to be a little bit of an added extra from the humidors. But this one started off pretty good, pretty nutty the whole way. Started to pick up a little bit. Now it's at this point, I think there's a little bit of heavy woodiness in there. I think that's a bit predominant over the earth. I think it's heading that way. So this isn't just the um, this isn't the final clip. I just wanted to make a note at the hour mark. Just wanted to show you I was tapping off that ash; it didn't fall off. So we still have a little bit to go. Very pleasant, as I said, it's getting towards the spicier side, and definitely some woodiness has come out in this. Um, Maybe a little bit of the nuttiness in there. The earth isn't so bad. As I said, spice definitely is not overpowering in any way. So I'll see you at the end of this video. So we're on the final segment of this. It's probably got another five minutes left on it. Give or take five minutes. I'm not entirely sure. But um, we are an hour and 60 minutes in. Let's call this an hour and 20 minutes ago. That's what I'm calling it anyway. One thing I need to do is quickly just show you the Seagars web page on it. The Regis Campanas Origin Selection 2015. This is for the single cigar. Even though cigars have these errors all over the website, packaging box of 10. They have this habit of always making, well they've always got the product up for the box and I'm guessing they always copy it. They just copy the product and then just change it to single whatever and they always leave errors like that. That happens all over the website. But anyway, this is five and a half inches, ring gauge 52. And yeah, 10 pound. Currently no reviews on this. I'm gonna try and write 
basically a written version of this review for cigars. I am trying to do that with most of the cigars I have, but I forget to keep going around to it. So where are we just ending the cigar on? Start with that little empty bit of ash. It's mostly just burnt out right at this point. Probably in a couple minutes, making it up to the 1 minute 20 mark. But yeah, this is definitely a very cheap cigar for what you get. You get a lot of tobacco at the start, but it's actually a pretty good flavour. It's um, spiced towards the end, not really much as you would expect. Maybe I'm just too used to smoking Cubans. But yeah, this is, this is definitely a light to medium and it's extremely pleasant. Lots of uh, nuttiness for the most of it, woodiness, earthiness for the last half with a little bit of spice. Mostly in there for the taste though. It's not really, you know, a spice you would like to stray away from. Very good cigar construction. I like this one quite a bit. I mean, this is this is a solid 9 out of 10. Really, really got to put this one up there. Um, there isn't much else to say about this. Very good, but it does still have... I don't know. As I said, it is categorized by the generic flavors. Nothing too special in there. But it does that so well that, you know, you're happy with it. So, you should probably get these. I would recommend them quite highly. And yeah, that's that. So thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page, link is in the description. I have recurring giveaways, well not always running, but I mean I do have the uh, quite often one. Um, also I put a lot of news there whenever I get new cigars, I post them there. I tend to post you know, unique reviews there that I don't post on YouTube, so that might help you out quite a bit. So thanks for watching this and I'll see you all in the next review.